Hello, this is week number 23 for Kindergarten Music, and we're going to talk about a holiday today, but this is a holiday that we don't celebrate in America, at least a lot of us don't celebrate it in America. If you remember, after Christmas, we had a special week um, of distance learning music where we talked about how we talked about the months of the year where we learned our song about January, February, March, and April. And we were celebrating that because we were talking about how this, that was a, a new year. And right after Christmas, the next holiday to come is called New Year's and Happy New Year. People, a lot of times, um, would walk around on the special day when, when December is over and the very first day of January comes, we would call that the, a brand new year. And so people might run around and have a party and say, happy new year. They might have wear funny hats and blow some horns and things like that. And they would be celebrating once in a while there's fireworks. And today we're gonna to learn about a different new year, but it's on the other side of the world. And if we think about, we live in America, and if you had a globe, if you had um, one of those round things that turn around, it shows you what the world looks like, and it's an earth. Um, if you had one of those and you found America and you turned the globe about halfway around to the back, you would find um, a country called China. And it's the continent of Asia. And in China, they have a different holiday for, that they call their Chinese New Year, which is a different time than our Happy New Year. Around Happy New Year in January 1st, a lot of people around the world um, celebrate that. And so we, um, we uh, almost all over the world, you, you hear people saying Happy New Year in January 1st. But the Chinese New Year is always in February or the end of January, and it depends on a full moon. And so the date changes every once in a while. And a Chinese New Year, is um, a, it's actually 16 days of a great big old party. And people go to their, their relative's house. They might go, go um, travel out of town, go back to their grandparents' house. Kind of like you might go to, for Thanksgiving, you might go to grandma and grandpa's house. Or for Christmas, you might go to grandma and grandpa's house. That's a really important thing for Chinese New Year. And it's not even just people in China that celebrate it and have that big party because um, anybody that lives in the continent of Asia often celebrates that. You could be from Taiwan, you could be from Thailand, you could be from Vietnam, you could be from Korea, you could be from um, China. All kinds of countries celebrate the Chinese New Year. Sometimes they call it the Lunar New, New Year because it's, a, it's kind of connected to the moon. It's a very, very fun time. And it's a great time to talk about Chinese instruments because they have, there are some different instruments that are very interesting that you don't see very often in America. Now they have some that are very similar to our instruments. And I'm going to show you today a couple of the instruments in the music room. These are called finger cymbals. Sometimes you think of giant, giant cymbals where someone in an orchestra are playing and they bang them together and it's super, super loud. Um, these are teeny tiny ones and you don't hold them. I'm not holding them together to bang them together. That's not gonna make, make a good sound because they can't vibrate. So they have a little string on them. And if I take a string like this and I just tap them, it's a very pretty sound. Little tiny, little tiny sweet little sound. And I'm just tapping them together to make the sound. And they have to hang and dangle so they can vibrate. That big word that starts with a V, we talk about every once in a while. I have another instrument. Now these are bigger cymbals. They're not as giant as the ones you might see in an orchestra, but they're bigger. And if you bang them together, they make a very loud sound too. These are percussion instruments. They both, both of these are for, for the percussion family. Sometimes you go like this again. It's not as teeny tiny as the other sound. And once in a while, you can tap this one too. So some instruments, you can do two or three different way, things to, to them to make them sound differently. And then there's a good old triangle. Does it, do you remember what this is called? Think about the shape. It's a triangle because it's the shape of a triangle. And again, you want to be, hang, you want to be holding this on a string. If I hold it just like this and I play it, listen. No big deal. Not very pretty, but... If I can hang it from a string so it can vibrate that V word. So we're going to, I'm going to play a song today that um, you're going to listen to. It's about the Chinese New Year that we were talking about. And um, I'm, the words are going to be up here. 
so you can see the music. I'm going to be playing along with it are my little finger, my finger symbols. And I'm thinking, I'm going to be counting to two. I'm going to be thinking one, two, 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 one, two. One, two. And again, when I'm playing along with this song, it's not a race. I'm not going to start before. I'm not going to try and end before the song is over. We're trying to work as a team. We're trying to do it together. So this is a song about the Chinese New Year. And you might hear some words that you've never heard before because they're the, the language of Chinese, where we speak English, people over there speak Chinese. Maybe even someone in your neighborhood or someone um, that, that you um, live with that, you're, that you know from, from school or from your town or your neighborhood here in America, maybe they're, they have relatives in China or in one of those other countries that celebrate the Chinese New Year. So they, this might be a very special time for them. When you watch this video, it's in the middle of it because Chinese um, New Year for this year started on February 12th, which is a Friday, and it's still going. And so you might see a lot of special things at Chinese restaurants. They might have special food. They might have special parties because they're all celebrating for 16 days. Um, that's the Chinese New Year. I want you to listen to this song about the Chinese New Year. in one of the countries in Asia where they celebrated Chinese New Year, that talked about, China. did you hear the Chinese words? They're a little bit different than our English words, weren't they? The first part was English and then it changed into Chinese. Um, if you live in an area of America where a lot of Asian people live, maybe like San Francisco or Seattle or Portland, Oregon, um, or other cities, up in, even in New York City, there are big neighborhoods of Chinese people. And on a Chinese New Year, um, during sometime during the Chinese New Year, they will have big parades, kind of like we have parades on the 4th of July. They have lots of special things, very fancy decorations and very fancy costumes and clothes, and um, lots of red. They like to they like to dress up in lots of red. They feel like it gives them good luck, and they're asking for good luck for the next year. And I want to show you an example of um, something that you would see in a parade in an Asian country or even a, just a uh, Chinese New Year parade in America somewhere. And this is a, called a dragon dance. And what this is, is these are people that are dressed up in special costumes and they have made a great big giant, probably made out of some type of cloth, a very, very long, long piece of fabric, very fancy with lots of fancy things on it. And it's so long that one person can't carry it. And so what they do is they want to make it, they have to work as a team and there might be 12 different people. They have their pants probably in a co matching costumes and they have a long stick, kind of like my stick that I um, use, kind of like my stick that I use sometimes when I'm pointing in music class. And what they're doing, they would have a stick like this and they would be walking in a parade and they would be holding up there would be, they would be this long, long piece of fabric that kind of looks dressed up like a dragon. And they would hold it up really high in the air and they would hold it like this and they would walk around. And so it looks like the dragon is walking around and it's really in curves and goes into a circle with some, once in a while and curves around. And it's um, too big for one person to, to handle and too long for one person. So lots and lots of people are involved and it's really, they, it's like a team. They have to practice like a soccer team and a baseball team. And it's, they have a dragon dance. I wanna show it to you 
This isn't a parade. These are real people. Remember, it's not a real dragon. It's people that are dressed up holding a stick, like my stick that I hold in the music room, and um, my pointer. And I want you to watch how they do it. And you'll hear some drums. You'll hear some interesting instruments. And watch the dragon dance at a parade. Isn't that interesting how some of them, you can kind of tell where they're holding their stick. This part of the stick is holding up, so that part's higher. And then here's another guy holding a stick, so that part's higher. So it goes down a little bit. And sometimes they were skipping. Did you see how they were skipping? And so, so it kind of made it look like the, the dragon was going up and down and up and down. Interesting. There was no music. There was the music, but there was no words to that music. It was just interesting. I heard drums, and I heard some type of a pan or some type of a gong that was being... Um, that was being played. And that is really a tradition. Those are probably costumes that they don't wear every day to school and they don't wear to work and things like that. On a special day, like a Chinese New Year, they'll wear special costumes that their ancestors used to wear a long time ago. I want you today to print out this sheet. And this is a picture of the dragon dance that we just saw. And if you look really, really close, there are people, you can see their legs and you can see that person's head, people inside underneath the costume. And they are um, they are walking around the dragon. It takes several people to, to, to um, carry that dragon around. They're walking around and they're working as a team to do the dragon dance that you would see at a Chinese New Year. Just like you would see um, on a Chinese New Year and the instruments that you would see. Make it colorful. I would put some red in there somewhere, but you can um, make it all, however you want. Do a really nice job. Try not to um, color outside the lines and show me that you're doing great, a great job of coloring in kindergarten. And that would be fun. And this is a reminder of the Chinese New Year, learning about Chinese music and instruments and how their New Year is, looks a little bit different than our New Year in America. Have a great week. Bye.